Chez. Hi. Um, another comparison video. We're at sax.co.uk and um, this has been very, very interesting. It's something that I've always kind of wanted to know about. I feel very ignorant. I've had a long chat with the lovely gentlemen here who are mostly called Mike, Michael or Mikey. So if you come to sax.co.uk in London, just ask for Mike and they'll probably give you someone quite useful. Um, he told me a lot about this. I've got here four different Yanni Gizawas, so really nice pro saxes, so we can really hear the difference between the different metals. Um, so it's tempting to go for a funky looking sax because it looks nice, uh, but it's interesting to know what the metals actually change. Now, I'm told there is a really big difference between the finish and the metal being changed. So the metal being changed is gonna make a proper difference. Whereas I gather the finish is quite minimal. So I'll go on to finish afterwards, but I'm just looking at the metals for the minute. So um, I'm gonna do a nice quick direct comparison um, of these four. See what you make of it. In theory, they should get kind of louder, brighter as they go. But I'm told it's very dependent on the type of player. So if you're quite a mellow player, I don't know if I am, am I a mellow player? thoughts in the comments below, um, then you may not hear as much of a difference as if you're a really bright, loud player. But I'm blabbering. I'm going to put a click on so that we can do between the between the sexes. So have a little listen, see what you think. Here we go. Uh -uh. <laughs> guy. I found that a bit squeaky. I didn't like the tone of it, whereas as soon as you made it solid silver, it was that bit richer, warmer. What I did really notice about the solid silver is it felt heavy. <laughs> Which makes sense, I guess it's a denser metal. So the difference in cost is interesting. For what you're, what you're getting for your money, now you've heard them in direct comparison by me, you've got the unlacquered, um, which I know it doesn't, you might think of unlacquered as um, looking like, like not shiny. Um, and I spoke to him about that. Apparently, they start off like this. It's just that, um, so this is new. Uh, once they're oxidized or whatever, um, they, they tarnish more and more and more as they go. This would set you back just under 3,000 pounds. And then the silver plated, which I quite liked, but I didn't feel like there was enough difference. And he will set you back 3,760. You're pushing the 4,000 bracket there. Something that I didn't really like. And then your solid silver, which was beautiful. Like, admittedly, and very easy to play. But, I mean, you're going to laugh out loud when you see the price of this heavy, heavy beast. Uh, this solid silver Yanagazawa Alto is going to cost you a mere £7,865. What a steal! Um, I'm going to cut in now and just show a couple of different finishes. Okay, fab. So um, I'm now looking at different finishes. So the metal is the same. These are all brass saxophones. Um, but the finish has changed. Now, I gather this shouldn't really make a huge difference. It's more aesthetic. So it's just the paint that's changed. So this is just a clear paint on it. This is a black paint. And this is some sort of pearlescent paint. So the thickness of the paint is different, which kind of changes the sound a little bit, but it's actually much more aesthetic than you think. So I think people think it's going to change the tone and in theory it shouldn't that much. So we're going to have a look and see if it does. Um, and these are all I've changed saxophone now instead of Yanagizawa. We're now onto um, Trevor Jane's Horn Classic 2. Uh, so these are in a more reasonable price bracket um, just to get a really good comparison in that sense. So um, these are in the sort of 600 pound bracket. In fact, I'll say at the end, how much of a difference to the cost the change in lacquer uh, makes, so. <laughs> OK, 
Okay, so that's where we're at. Um, I do think they sound a bit different. It's whether the cost reflects how different it is, I guess. Um, so your classic, um, you know, looking sack, Trevor James sort of, I, I call it an intermediate, it's quite cheap intermediate though, and um, this is in your cheaper bracket, it's gonna cost you 600 pounds. Turn it into a black one with the silver keys, so nice and quirky, but um, not huge difference in tone. That's gonna set you back 800. So you stuck 200 pound more on there, 220 pound, um, for it to be black, basically. I felt by the time you got to this frosted one, so this is gold frosted, I actually could hear a difference in tone, personally. Be interested to see what you guys think. Um, please comment below if you think you could hear a difference. Um, but this one is a grand, so it's like 400 pounds more for a fairly minimal difference, um, but a difference. So if you really loved that kind of tone, uh, and I'd be interested to see what, what you thought was the difference. Do you think it's bright or do you think it's more mellow? Um, comment below. I want to hear what you have to say about this. If you haven't watched any of my other comparison videos, um, there are several that you might want to check out. I've done unique quirky saxes where we've looked at like a pink um, one and the vibrato, the plastic ones. So check that out. That'll be popping above my head now. Um, I've looked at Mark VI because they're vintage. They're all very different by the time they get to that age. One was about 60 odd years old or something, and the other was a different age. Um, that will be popping above my head just now. Uh, so do check out those kind of videos as well. I've got a whole playlist called Reviews where I've looked at different saxes. For those of you who can't get down to sax.co.uk to check some of these out, hopefully this is helpful for you. Please let me know if it is. It makes all of these videos worthwhile. I have loads of videos on how to play the Pink Panther or Man with the Red Face, like extreme from beginner to intermediate to um, more advanced tunes. So check out my playlist on transcriptions. And I also offer a transcription service now. Now. So if there's a particular tune that you desperately want, um, you can get in touch and I can quote to do a personalised video just for you, especially for you. And I think that's it for now, that's a wrap. Um, keep in touch, let me know how you're getting on. You can find me on other social media such as Instagram, look up Ches Taylor Sachs, Facebook, Snap Face Chat. Uh, bye, see you later. So I am serious about this subscribing thing. Do it. Do it or I'll do it. I will. I will. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it.